that's me. I'm out on the bike. I haven't been out for like nine weeks. Crack, I knew these ears are coming for something. Anyway, we're out and about now. Been out on the bike, a bit of a ride today. Um, and I remembered that I hadn't on the last video um, mentioned the the, uh, the tent. It was getting a bit epic proportions. So I thought I'd come out today, have a bit of a ride around, um, and I'll show you the tent. Then we'll get home and I'll show you some other stuff. Hi guys, uh, another hot stinking day here in paradise, <laughs> not quite, but anyway, getting a bit long the last video, so instead of doing the tent and stuff like that, what's inside here, and all a bit about the tents, I've got that many tents, I won't even tell you, it's ridiculous, I'm a bit of a tentaholic, but anyway, um, before we go to the tent, let's go on about this, this is just sheepskin, I mean how many people have used sheepskins, tens of thousands, haven't they, well I wasn't one of them for a long, long time, until about two years ago, and uh, so that was try a sheepskin idea. So I've got the little put down seat, which gives me better access to my legs. And so I can use it with that. This is just, just velcro on. So you just velcro that on and uh, it sits on there and it behaves really well. And we like it, even Helen likes it on the back, so I'm not a problem at all. That's that done. Right, tents. Open the can of worms here now, I'll tell you with me, because I've got so many bloody tents. Favourite tents. This has got to be my favourite. It's got to be my little cashewa. Looks a bit like a frisbee. Um, I'm a bit of a ninja turtle sometimes in there with that on the green circle there. This is a, the old tent um, from cashewa. It's only 59 centimetres across. The latest one, as far as I can see, are 65 centimetres across. Now, it's big enough as it is, as far as I'm concerned. I'm surprised nobody can make a tent these days that's smaller than that. I believe the Americans have got one going on for the military that big. Um, surely you can make a tent bigger than that people out there who make tents. Um, it's great. I'll show you photographs of these put up, but if I was going on my own, that would be the tent I would take with my little cashewa. Inside here, I've got, I've got a tarp slash ground sheet. That goes in there, that stays there. So I've always got a tarp with me, I've always got a ground sheet with me always in there. Sometimes we carry another one in here. But anyway, that's that one. It fastens down, by the way, with bungees. You're all going to scream and shout at me. But you, need, you need to buy these. You need to buy, I can't remember the name of them. You need to buy rock straps. Well, I've got rock straps. I don't like them. It's too full. I prefer the bungee. And I know it's allegedly going to get wrapped in the wheel and everything. Well, I've been riding for now um, a long time. I'm, I'm not 17 anymore, I've been riding since I was 17 and I've never caught one yet in the spokes. And I've got a feeling the spokes might demolish one of those if it did catch it in it. Um, and anyway, if that caught in the spokes, that's, that's even stronger, isn't it? I just like the bungees, they're easy, they're cheap, they work. Well, you know, that's the way you, you use it with I like bungees. There you go. Other tents. I wasn't going to go on my own and Helen was going to come with me. I would take this one. I would take Redverse Tenere. There is a small problem with this tent, and it's heavy. I think it's six kilos, it's maybe even more, I don't know. But, but I tell you what, when it's up, it's worth all the hassle for carrying it. It's really good. Um, we have used it in conjunction with the Land Rover, Land Rover trips, obviously. It fits on there. It's a bit enormous, isn't it? It won't fit in here. I tried it. Um, so. Probably could get it a bit smaller than that when I've got it there. But the Redverse Tenere, um, I'll put some photographs up I've been using it. It's great when it's there. If I think I was going to get, use it as a base camp tent. That's what it's good for. That's what it's good for indeed. We've got other tents, crikey. We really have. Um, going back to just on my own, I'll put the Redverse out of the way. I've got this one. A gear top one. It's a canoe one. It's a one man one. I've used this a few times um, over the past year or so. It's all right. It's all right. It's not as good as this, you see. That's the problem. But you can put it in here. It will go in there. But if I'm on my own, I just I don't need to put it in there. Sometimes I stick a bag in there, by the way. If you put the stuff in, you can go in there, perhaps. Or, 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 but um, get more kiss in a bag in there. But really, no. We did go back to the UK. And I've done all the tents 
as Helen will tell you, all the tents I've got, I just literally didn't have a lot of time. I literally grabbed the first tent that was for hand in the garage, and it was this one. You're going to go scream and shout now. 1995 from Lidl. It did the job, to be honest, and it poured with bloody rain. I think we slept in this. Uh, three nights, I think we slept in this, and it poured with rain, and it didn't leak much. Would another tent have leaked at all? I think it possibly would because it was a monsoon. And as you can see, that just not fit in anywhere, won't it? 1995, that sleeps two people ish. Helen would argue that it does not sleep two people. Certainly, if you've got a wife bigger than Helen, um, you're not going to get in there. In fact, if you've got if you're a person much bigger than me, you're going to struggle as well. But uh, yeah, it's quite good.